Speaking of Milongueros, I'd like to introduce my mentor and friend, Ricardo de Vidorf, who was a great Milonguero and teacher to many tango dancers around the world. La verdad que fue maravillosa este, la experiencia que, que tengo con él y he aprendido un montón. Por eso siempre digo que en el tango uno nunca termina de aprender. Este, realmente he tenido una manera de, de, de bailar muy particular, este, muy linda, muy placentera. He was a profoundly interesting man. He had studied parapsychology, he was involved in pyramidology, he had spent time in the Himalayas in the 60s. He'd been meditating for over 30 years, had, you know, actively did yoga and tai chi every morning for at least 30 years. He had a profound effect on people. Um, especially men, actually. When they watched Ricardo dance, suddenly realized that they didn't need to struggle to learn step sequences. That he, just watching him, they realized that if they would just, um, if you like, follow the music and follow their heart with it, that actually that would lead them to dance better. And they didn't need some of the formal structures that they'd been struggling to, to learn and the technical stuff. I think another, well, very important thing uh, that Ricardo taught and, and, and did was he led by his energy and never by force. And to me, that's one of the most important things is to learn, for, well, for a leader to learn to lead without force and for the follower to follow the energy and not to need force or any kind of 